Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Piper. I just uh, didn't have too much time to get ready today, so I thought I would do something really simple and, and quick. So I started off with my skin right now, and I tried the Too Faced Hangover that I have uh, face primer. I still don't understand the hype of it all, but I'm trying to use it up and not be one of those people who just throws something out for not using it and giving it its justice. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to feel or whatever, but that's it. Okay, so moving on. Okay, so I did a little bit of contouring off camera with my Ruimio palette that I have again. Um, this time I used this color up here. I don't normally do that. And then blending with the, the one in the middle a little bit. Uh, Again, today I used my e.l.f. flat one I was telling y'all kind of about the other day. I don't know if it made it into a video, but I just did a little bit of contouring and went from there. Next up, I'm going to use my e.l.f. eyeshadow lock eye primer. I'm not a huge fan of this either because, because uh, it's not something that really makes things stick very well. So, But I'm, again, trying to use it so I don't waste any money. Whoa, stupid bright. Okay, there you go. All right. And then under my eyes, I'm going to use my, my NYX HD Concealer in, in Glow, my NYX HD Concealer in Glow. Not really a huge fan of these either because I feel like they tend to cake up on the bottom. But again, trying to give different products a chance. Obviously, is not the right color for me. So, we'll see. Blend, blend, blend. It's not gonna make things stick. I don't like that feeling. Again, my e.l.f. translucent powder. I feel like it makes my dark circles worse. Do you see that? I feel like it made my dark circles worse. That's not, that's not good. That's not a good thing. Not a fan. I think I might end up throwing that stuff away. And I'm not one for wasting, I'm not one for wasting products, but I'm not a fan. It just made my circles more pronounced. Not a fan. I don't have time. I use my lick my NYX Glam Shadow Stick in Yellow Diamond. I got these on sale. I think they were $2.50. I've been trying to use them in certain ways, maybe I thought they were gonna help color stick. I felt like maybe they were gonna help the color stick. This is very light, you can't really see it. Uh, but they haven't really, I mean, they're really, they're really thin. The other thing is my Ultra Pearl Mania NYX in Jade Pearl. These were on sale as well. I like to use these as well. They're very messy again. And one of my e.l.f. brushes. E.l.f. brushes. I like these because they fit in here. I'm just kind of cake it on. Okay.
NYC late night latte. HD color, late night latte. Can you tell which one I like the most? This brown one. Blending right. That'd be that stick I used. Rice paper, as usual. Again, I don't think this under eye thing is working for me. Okay, I'm gonna do my liquid eyeliner by NYC off camera. Okay, eyeliner is on, and so now I'm gonna use my Maybelline Lash Stiletto. I uh, forget the color that this is. Very black. And then I'm gonna go put it on. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I have put on my Lash Stiletto Mascara. You can... It looks good in person. Uh, the one trick that I know is that if you wanna look like you have really long lashes whenever you really don't, the trick is to not use eyeliner. Yeah, that's the trick. But I like eyeliner. And I'm also going for a very bright look today, so I'm also going to use my Milk NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil to go on the inner, uh, my inner waterline. Just a little bit. Not a lot, just a little. Now, I just have to do my Milani eyebrow gel. I'll do my quick version of it. Why did this side have to be darker? Why did it have to do it darker? Maybe I need to walk around like... I'm trying. To even them out. Or just... There you go. Eye lift. Perfect. Whatever. That's it for my Milani. One, I'm going to use my NYX Stay Matte Powder in Ivory. I do like this one. It's got this really cool sponge that I like. If this does not fix this, then I'm going to have to take it off. Okay, I'm back. I took it off. If you can tell, I have uh, put some more of a different concealer on. Can you guess what it is? Yep, my NYC cover stick. Again, it looks like I still got bags, but I just rubbed and all that. But anyway, so I'm going to go back in with my NYX matte powder again and go from I will say that I still like the CoverGirl one better than this. Um, I do like it. It's very similar to the one that I use, but I feel like this NYX one is a little bit more powdery than, than the CoverGirl one I use. Kind of 
because look how I'm I'm pretty dusty. Pretty. I do like the sponge though. I'm pretty white. Now I feel like no matter what I do, my under eyes are just not good. I give up. I'm done. I give up. The last thing that I'm going to use is my Wet n Wild Illuminating Palette. Mega Glow in Catwalk Pink. I actually really like this one, but I use them individually. I use each one of these individually. And today I think I'm going to use this gold over here. Uh, and I'm just, just going to use my finger. Because that's how I roll. And it's very subtle. It's very subtle. It's okay. Because you also get a subtle glow that's really nice. It's a gold color, so it's kind of also like a blush. So, there you go. Looks like I've been picking at my face. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope y'all enjoyed everything. I will see you later. Bye!